Today's card of the day is Imprisoned in the Moon, 2 in a blue for an enchantment aura with enchant creature, land, or planeswalker. Enchanted permanent is a colorless land with tap add colors and loses all other card types and abilities. This card holds a really special place in my heart. I don't have any decks that really can use this. I think perhaps maybe a little too too weak at the moment for at least my deck's power types. I really did enjoy when I had played with this card because it was just about the time I started playing Magic. I think this is around Eldritch Moon with Liliana fighting against Emrakul and on Innistrad. This is also about the time where I was super into Naruto. And this is, I think, when the Pain arc was going on. And for those of you who don't know, Pain was one of the strongest, one of the strongest nowadays, probably doesn't even amount to the strongest uh, antagonist in Naruto, but it was one of the strongest antagonists. And they had a technique, a special technique, that was uh, Plantary Devastation. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I think the um, English, the, that's the English version. The, the, Span the Jap Japanese version is Chibaku Tensei. And basically what it did was it made this sphere, this black sphere, that had a gravitational pull and attracted all everything to it. Basically, the legends go in Naruto that um, a powerful being had trapped a large beast in, with this technique, and that became the moon. And I was just like, yo, they made this Naruto technique into a card? And I was like, oh, I gotta get this card. <laughs> so I have a foil version and uh, a regular version, um, just because this was sort of like homage for this card when it came out. It's I really like the idea. It was an amazing idea. And you know what? I would have to say, like, the fact that Emrakul is trapped in a moon kind of shows, like, being trapped in a moon really hurts. <laughs> it, it sucks. And playing against this card, if you're not playing a card that can really interact with enchantment types, interacting with lands, which I guess is sort of an allegory for moon in this case, is really rough. I think there's too far in between decks that have ways to sack lands. And I know there are cards that sort of are like this effect, but they create those creatures or planeswalkers into like zero run creatures. Now it's a little easier to sacrifice or bolt your own creatures, but the fact that this is a land after this is being enchanted means, yeah, it's gonna be rough interacting with those lands. Um, you're gonna need someone to like at least strip mine you or strip mine yourself, um, have something like that. But usually that's not the case, and so what you're gonna have to end up doing is find something enchantment removal. Um, and that's, you know, people don't have too much enchantment removal, I'd imagine. Or also, you can just gun for the person that, you know, imprisoned your, your duder. Which I think is the most common uh, way to play against this. Um, yeah, super strong ability. I think, though, the fact that it's a 3 mana, and it's not really a catch-all, but it is a way to permanently get rid of, like, problematic commanders, is pretty good. And maybe warrants a look at, because there are a lot of creatures that you just don't want to stick on the field. And this is one of those ways to like get rid of it for like the entirety of the game, which is really strong, um, and a good reason to play a card like this, right? Like, if people need to rely on their commanders so much, maybe taking away of them, taking away their commanders is probably a good thing if you're looking to win the game. Um, might not feel good for them, but like, hey, they know what game they're playing, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I think this card is like pretty good. Um, for for EDH sake, I think this card. Probably an auto clued and most like mid power decks, I think, that can play blue. I really do feel like that. Now, they've made newer ones that are a little cheaper, but don't have the significant upside in like making your commander a like a land. Um, and the fact that they do make it a land means that, um, yeah, it's just harder to get back your, your creature, right? I think there's a totally legitimate business person, which makes your creature into a 1 1, uh, basically a 1 1. And of course, if you're not playing black or red, like, or I guess in some cases even white, like, of course, you know, there's some caveats. There's ways to get rid of most things in Magic and answer most things. Um, yeah, killing your own creatures is like, you know, it's super dependent on your colors you're playing. And even then, it's like, do you really want to kill your own creatures versus get rid of a problem on the board? Um, you know, who knows? So, I mean, there's a lot of things to think about when you're playing against cards like these or playing with cards like these. And I think it adds a lot of like complications to the situation that are like super interesting um just because like i've seen games where like people have this card attached to their commander for the whole game and they should never use their, their commander again and i think that's good especially for like I, I think that's good because it means like either they couldn't find an answer don't have an answer or they're too reliant on their commander for their deck or um basically what they need to do is uh, I guess I think it's one of the, one of those right one of the choices. Yeah, I think it's a super good card. But of course, let me know. We all think about this comes below. 
Are y'all playing this card? Uh, am I too high up on this card? I think it's a really fun card. Um, and like, in a sort of worth OC way, is that a good way of saying it? Uh, this card, it sounds super cool. Uh, and I can just imagine like, <laughs> when I, in the headcanon, what's happening when this card is being played. It's uh, super cool. But yeah, anyways, let me know what y'all think about this card in the comments down below. Peace out, and catch y'all later.